Full look at the starting lineups for both teams. Chicago House AC, it's that midfield that's really going to be important for them. Smith and Marcy from Chicago. They're pretty sweet jerseys. If you get a, go, see if you get a good look at them tonight, you can check them out online. Referee blows the whistle. We are off and running another Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup first round tie. Kramer's got a little more involved for a target man. Randall into the penalty area. It's still Randall and his shot is blocked. His second try is bent just wide of the post. That was the first real bit of class from Randall we've seen tonight. It was a beautiful cut back in. Opened up his shot. Jack Kramer was well and surely beaten right here. Got help from Murillo. And the second shot just fizzed what past that far post to Anne Chacon. Man from Spain, a lot of UIC, Illinois, Chicago guys on this team. He's one of them. She's a former UIC guy, because obviously we do have some college kids playing in this competition. Obviously a lot of college teams are playing friendlies at this time of year in the spring. Some college coaches don't want to let their guys go off and play in the cup, just in case they get hurt. Final there. Manchin Jr., a couple of nibbles on him. He wins the set piece, taken quickly. Yeah, I thought we'd see a little more of him tonight. So far, we haven't. He's been pretty quiet in the middle of the park. Might be a little more influential. You know, MLS at next pro all-star last season. It's a lovely reverse ball played in here. It might line up nicely for a shot. It was Romanchin who took aim. Comfortable save in the end, though, for Halterman, who wasn't truly tested. That was a nice move from Romanchin. He put Eric Leonard completely on his backside. Just didn't have the power on the finish to really trouble Halterman. Oh, and as we come back to this side of the pitch, looks like the flag has gone up. It's going to be a Minnesota free kick. I guess for offside was the decision from the referee. But Minnesota's possession doesn't last very long, and Chicago maybe have a chance to break here. The ball is too close in the end to the covering Gasho. It's good work by the win in the middle, though. He's not large in stature, but he's a low center of gravity. Referee checks the watch, and the first half ends in Elmhurst, Illinois. I think it's fair to say that Chicago House maybe need halftime to regroup. After Minnesota on top. Worked. We would have extra time and potentially penalty kicks, but that is still down the road. Second half is underway. Chicago kicking from right to left in their black and greens. Expect that to change in the second half. From the corner, first man there heads it away. And it's volleyed on the edge of the penalty area. Not a bad effort. Ipsays, and he just wasn't able to get it through the trees and the defenders. And Chicago House might be able to break it at the other end. And there's a challenge in the penalty area. Referee says it's all ball. Buki Abdul Wahab dragged down. At least the fans will tell you that. Minnesota get away with one. Play continues. There weren't too many complaints from the Chicago House players. It's always a good sign that perhaps was a legitimate tackle. On that far side, we'll perhaps get another look on the replay in a minute. A frantic sequence, but maybe that's what Chicago House needs right now to get into the game. Beautiful ball, and it was just a race for pace. Bookie got inside. He may have just got the ball. It was certainly a risky tackle. No doubt about that by Joe Nagasho, the young man. Brave decision. Otherwise, it's certainly been a great chance for Bookie. And now a chance here at the other end. Minnesota could play their way through. Jordan Adebayo Smith scores for Minnesota United. They carve through Chicago House. And the MLS next throwers land the first blow. It is Minnesota United FC2's first open cup goal, and they lead by a goal to nil in Illinois. Sometimes how it happens, right, Sean? You get that chance denied at the other end. 
Lovely ball by Romanshin. Luck things open, unluck things, I should say. Yeah, it's a shame that the, probably the best chance of the game for Chicago turned into a goal down the other end. Just switched off for a second and Romanshin and teammates made them pay. And we'll see how Chicago House responds. Is that going to be the foundation for Minnesota to go on and punch a round two ticket? Foul on Adebayo Smith there. Too physical. Chance for Chicago House just to settle down. Cage Romanchin Jr. got the assist on the Adebayo Smith finish. And Minnesota a bit short on numbers here at the back. A shot does come in, it's tame. In the end, off the boot of Buki Abdul Wahab. Yeah, a little frantic there from Buki. He had teammates in support, just snatched at it. Opportunities are so few and far between. When you do get half chance, you sometimes just get a little anxious. Take a whack at it. Expected goals for Minnesota now, is it? 1.07. Sometimes those stats can be spot on. They lead 1-0 in this game after, again, dominating for the most part, just not being clinical enough until their new signing, Fernando Bio Smith, comes to the fore and gives Minnesota a bit of a place in history as well. That's their first Open Cup goal, and there could be more still in the cards here. Misanvi. Into the middle, it could open up again, and it's a second goal for Jordan Adebayo Smith. Well, He's answered the call for Minnesota in this second half, and one has quickly turned into two for the men of MLS Next Pro. His coach said he had to work on his finishing. That was a superb finish there. He had plenty of space, but a decent distance away from goal, and he put that one with power past Halterman. Look at it here. Defenders chasing back, but once again, it was a great first touch to get away from the, the defenders in a superb finish. Against professional opponents. On the, that was on the road that last time. This time they're at home. But they've been under pressure for most of this game. It just took a while for Minnesota to find their finishing boots. It's cut out, but again, just a microcosm of the evening. Anytime it seems like Chicago House have something going, it's quickly swept away. That's the credit that should be given to Minnesota United FC 2's midfield and defense, frankly. Another offside flag is up. And Minnesota United are two minutes away from round two to see who they play mentioned geographically matched up in the next round. They won't go to the groups for a couple more rounds, which are the sort of four pods, the two the geographic pods where the two teams four, face off, four teams face off and the two winners play each other in the next round. We'll do that for a couple of rounds. Next round of games, April 2nd and 3rd. It's only 16 total games compared to 32 in this round. out to the far side, comes up short. Smur clears away from Minnesota. Well, when looking at this game in this slate of games on day two of round one of the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup, I think many had this circled as a potential cup set. Minnesota have had other ideas and they get a chance here to wrap things up. Goalkeeper is rounded and it is a third goal for Minnesota United. 
Jordan Adebayo Smith completes his hat trick and in Minnesota United FC 2's debut in the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup, they have breezed through to the second round. Yeah, that one had been coming for a while. Well done to that man for hat trick on his Open Cup debut. Just turned on the gas here. <laughs> Nothing Haltman could do. He tried to take him down and get the headed out of the 18 yard box. Chance for one more shot. It is blazed over the top, and that is full time here in Elmhurst, Illinois. The match ball and the match winner is Jordan Adebayo Smith for Minnesota United FC2.